<clears throat> All right, so good morning, everyone. Um, today we're going to play with a lot of different things. You're going to definitely want a block, maybe a strap um, as we start to practice. Um, but start by being seated. Just find your nice, comfortable way to sit, whether it's cross legged or legs out. I'm going to do a fair amount of stretching today as well. Um, so start by sitting well, maybe take the shoulders up to your ears, maybe squeeze them back whew, and let them come down and then snuggle your sit bones into the yoga mat and close your eyes. And just kind of get a sense of where you are, right? Where you are in space, where you are in your house, how your body feels as you start your practice this morning. And then start to feel your breath as you take the breath in, ideally through the nose and out either through the nose or the mouth. And notice if it feels stagnant, if it feels shallow, if it is easy to take a deep breath. And then notice the crown of the head reaching straight up toward the ceiling, the back of the neck nice and long, the tailbone heading down toward the earth. Just breathe. Good, a couple more right here. And on your next exhale, just let the eyes open up. Maybe take the shoulders in, roll those out a little bit. Just shake them out. And then do just one shoulder, just one. Just circle it. Oh, nice big circles, right? Start to let any of that tension from the night's sleep or from the day before, let it go. And then the other shoulder, shake them all out. And then take both arms up to the ceiling. Exhale right to your heart. Good, release two more here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale right to your heart. Good, last one, take it up. Exhale to your heart and then just push that out away from you. And then open up the arms, palms are face back. Inhale straight up. Exhale to your heart, push it out away from you reach it around and then take it up. Good, one more right here. Bring it down to your heart, push it out away from you, reach out to the sides, inhale up and exhale right to your heart again. Feel the shoulders drop down. Good, take it up, inhale. Let the right hand come down to the floor, the left arm reaches over. Good, nice soft jaw, right? Nice, easy breath. I always notice when I'm in the car for a long time, I start to really forget about taking some deep breaths, right? We wonder why we're tired and we get sleepy because we're not breathing deep enough. All right, inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it over to the left, reach the right arm, nice, easy, soft. Take your breath in, let it go. Inhale, straight up. Twist everything to the left, everything to the left and let those hands come down and feel this nice little twist and maybe focus on the waist here, right? As we draw the ribs across, as we feel the torso starting to warm up a little bit, a little contraction on that left side. Inhale, reach up, exhale, circle to the right and let the hands come down again, feeling that nice little stretch out. Good, take it up. Good, I want your arms in cactus pose here. So we're gonna work a little bit of side body. And, um, and in order to do this, right, we wanna be really aware of what's happening um, on either side. So you're simply gonna keep, keep cactus arms, but dip everything toward 
the left or whichever side. Don't go so deep that you feel like you're overdoing it, right? You'll feel that pretty quickly. And then go over to the right. Good, and left. If your elbows easily come to the floor to your knee, that's fine. But if they don't, don't force it. Good, just kind of rock side to side, a little bit of tone to the lower belly. Breathe. For me, my elbow's kind of hitting my back thigh, you know, right about where the hip is, where the hip hits the floor. Good, maybe you're starting to feel this one already, right? We're warming up our core. We're gonna be playing here a little bit today. Good, couple more, one more here and one more here. Good, and then take the arms up cactus. Now again, mindful, right? Don't overdo, don't go too fast, but you're just gonna twist to one side. I'm gonna move away from the wall a little bit and then twist to the other. So again, we're working the waist, we're working the side body, working with the obliques, those muscles of the belly, two sets of muscles of the belly. Woo, good, start to feel that. Breathe. How fast or slow you go is up to you. Don't hold the breath and don't hold your jaw. There you go, good. Two more, both sides here and here, and then take it center. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale them back to your heart and shake them out. All right, so that's all that warm up for now. Um, start by taking your left leg out, but not straight forward from the hip. Take it out to the side. So a couple little interesting, interesting moves here as we start um, stretching. You might have to see your screen uh, just to figure out what I'm gonna do in a little bit. But start here, right? Nice and easy. You can even have a block in front of you if you would like. As you start to stretch through this part of your body, you're really starting, you're gonna notice, right? This extended left leg, uh, maybe the inner thigh, which is where we're working mostly, maybe toward the hamstrings a little bit. Um, should be some nice action in that left leg. So a nice flexed foot here. And notice your breath. So keep the shoulders wide, right? Keep the chest moving forward. Remember, you can use one or both blocks here if you want to put your elbows down on the block just to get a little bit of a stretch here. And then notice, uh, one, if your hips are kind of skewed, if, if your uh, long legs hip is reaching well forward, um, just kind of draw that leg back in, right? Draw it back into the hip socket and just pause here a little bit, just an easy breath. Good, and then release it, come on up, bring that knee in and stretch out the other side. Now, some of you I know, you know, with this whole big knee compression here, you can take the leg out at least for now, you can change that angle um, and if your knee is really high, maybe a block is underneath the knee um, to support that a little bit better as we're warming up. But right leg out, left leg in, where it is for you. Again, starting to feel, are the hips pretty even? Can I draw that right thigh back into the hip socket? Nice energy through the foot, through the leg. And then breathe. Right, start to feel that. Where is the stretch for you? Um, always for me in these stretches, I feel it a little bit at that inner knee. So I'm very cautious. I don't go super deep. I just wanna see if I can get some easy light stretches through that inner thigh without overdoing it. Good, just breathe. Maybe the hands come forward. Maybe again, your hands are on your block. Maybe your elbows are on your block. And you're giving yourself permission to just wait, just wait a little bit. As you take the breath in, as you exhale it out. That's it. Good, and then come on up. We're not done with this. So you're gonna change back to the other side. The left leg goes out, the right leg comes in. Inhale, reach the arms up. This time I want you to swan dive forward. Watch the low backs here. Take the hands forward where they're gonna go. Draw the shoulders back. Little bit deeper stretch. We're gonna be adding on to this. So block again, block no block. You really don't need a block here unless you uh, just want one uh, because it's easier. 
So we're drawing the hands back. We're keeping the shoulders wide. We're starting to warm up a little bit. Some of you are going to easily come to elbows. Um, again, don't overdo it, especially so early in class. Find your breath. Good, and then take the torso up, inhale, reach up. As you exhale, the right hand goes down and the left arm reaches over. And try to keep that left hip down on the floor. So you're doing a big long stretch from your left hip to your left fingertips. You got it, nice deep breath, feel that. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, your left arm goes down, either on top of your left leg or to the inside and we're stretching out through the right side. There you go, good, inhale, reach up. Exhale those hands back down to the floor, switch sides. Breathe, easy, easy. Again, taking care of that knee, block underneath if that makes sense for you. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Take the hands forward, draw the shoulders back. If your hands are forward and you're really rounding, like your head's heading toward the floor, kind of rounding, back off a little bit. Just come up taller because it's not about your back. This is not a back stretch. This is a leg stretch. <laughs> Although it's all connected, right? Good, breathe everybody. Just feel that, feel the sit bones. Just feel the stretch. Maybe that stretch is changing a little bit. Maybe it's not as, focused on one point. Maybe it's going longer through the inner thighs. Notice, good, come on up, roll the shoulders. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches. We find that big long pose. Breathe, you can be on elbow, you can be on hand. It's not about that, right? And then inhale, take both arms up, let your right arm come down and take the left arm over, stretching outside body. There you go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let go. We got one more going on, so switch sides. This is where it'll get a little bit tricky, I think. Something we haven't done before. <laughs> inhale, reach up. Exhale to your heart. Good, take the hands forward. Here we are, we're back where we started. Stretching it out. Hopefully this is starting to loosen up a little bit. You're on elbows, you're on hands, you're upright, down low. Whatever is best for your body, what's it feeling like this morning? Breathe. Good, and then come up. Here's where it gets a little tricky. You're gonna take your right elbow to the floor toward the right side. And then you're gonna slide your left leg back and just lift it up off the floor. Yep, so you're really on, you're on your right hip, your right thigh, your right leg is all the way on the floor. You're on your right elbow. There shouldn't be a ton of weight here. You're just stretching out that long leg. And if you're having trouble with this, you can bring both knees together. So you're just sitting on your right hip and then take that leg out straight out so it's lifted up off the floor. Your other hand comes to behind your head and you're gonna do knee to elbow, right? So here we go, so reach out, squeeze it in. Think about that side body, side waist, right? A little core work here, bring it in and out. If it's super hard to be on the elbow for some reason, I don't have a lot of weight there, um, but most more of my weight is supported at the hip leg. But if it is, you can lay down on your uh, side a little bit more. Good, squeeze in, we're almost there. Squeeze it in and squeeze, good. One more here, squeeze it in. Reach the leg out, release your hand. You can take it in front of you to support you. Keep your toes pointing straight ahead and bring your legs straight forward as if you were gonna drop one inner thigh on top of the other, right? Breathe and then reach it back out. You can even take it back a little bit if you want a little front hip stretch. Bring it forward Ooh. and bring it back. Now for you, it might that leg might come forward pretty far forward of the bottom leg, right? Depends on your hamstrings and bring it back. Good, last one here. You're gonna hold that leg. Here's where it gets to be all kinds of fun. You're gonna see if you can lift up and take your hands off the floor. 
Ah, oh, I know. Tricky, tricky. Don't worry about it if you can't. Maybe fingertips to the floor. Breathe, lower that elbow. Good. And then you're going to come right back to that wide leg seat. I know, right? This is what I do when I'm bored. I figure these things out. Good. Bring your left leg in. Take your right leg out. Here we are on the other side. Make sure the hips are even. You feeling good here? Take the arms up. Exhale, take them forward. Roll the shoulders back. Notice that leg starting to loosen up just a little bit. Breathe. Inner thigh work is, um, is fun. <laughs> I'll convince you, right, sooner or later. I'll, I'll convince you that this is great fun. It's an area we don't work a lot. Again, it, that, those inner thighs can get tight. They can get weak, all kinds of stuff. So here we are. Breathe. And then press up from here. Here we are again. You're just going to lean over like you're tilting over to the left. And you're going to drop down onto your left elbow. Once you do that, that right leg slides out and slides up. So you're just reaching it out from the hip. Again, upper body should be super comfortable. Hand goes behind your neck and let's squeeze elbow to knee and press it out. There you go, that's two. Breathe, press it out. Four, five, and six, seven, Eight. We're almost there. Two more. Nine and ten. Good. Release that hand from behind your head. Toes are pointing straight forward. Breathe. Your other hand can be on the floor to support that. You're going to slide your leg forward as if you're sliding it along a table and then reach it back behind you. Yep. Slide it in and slide it back. Good. Three more. Just slide. Just feel that, right? Warming up through hips, through legs. Breathe. And last one here. Slide it up. Slide it back. You got it. And then hold it there. Start to tone that belly. If you can, you're going to see if you can shift onto that hip. Release. <laughs> Woo. Interesting. One side to the other. Release the hands. If your foot comes to the floor, don't worry about it, right? You're probably feeling this all through that side hip. I know I am. Breathe and release it. Whoo, good. And when you're ready, just press yourself up and open yourself up. Good, take both legs out, last bit here. Find your sit bones. You don't have to go wide, right? You can be as narrow as your legs need to go. And you're here again, the shoulders are up, the belly is toned, fingertips are just gonna come forward. So once again, depending on your ability, I have friends who can plop down on the floor with their chest. I'm not one of them. <laughs> My legs don't do that. It is a function of these hips, right? Where How you're born, how those hips are, and then flexibility on top of that. I just want you to see where you are um, in the pose, right? Are you mostly seated? If you try to come really far forward, do you just round into your lower back? We don't want to do that. We want a pretty neutral spine. But feel both legs and then dig your heels into the mat or into the floor. Just feel your heels, your heels pressing down. <sighs> yeah, big time, right? Just notice. <sighs> And as you dig those heels in, as the backs of the knees soften a little bit, the pelvis has an ability to tilt forward a little bit more. So some of you are going to be able to come down just a little more. I wouldn't do a whole bunch here. Good. Breathe. And wherever you are, press it all the way up. Slide those legs together and shake them out. Good. And then grab one of your blocks. We're gonna do one more core thing before we get moving, standing up. So have one of your blocks. You can sit on a blanket or a pillow if you would like. We're moving into boat pose. So I want you to start by digging your heels into the mat. Just take your hands behind your thighs, roll your shoulders back and lean back 
to the point where you feel that belly engage, right? Up here, no engagement. Here, enough engagement. I don't need to lean back further than that, but I'm gonna hold onto the backs of the thighs and lift the chest, right? We have to draw those elbows back and those shoulders back in order for the chest to not collapse. So feel that, keep that position, grab your block. Feet stay on the floor. All you're gonna do with this block, hold it sideways, is just twist side to side, right? You don't have to go fast. Maybe that block makes it to the floor, maybe it doesn't, right? You're leaning back, you're working with your belly, you're breathing the whole time. Try to relax through your head and neck. You should be following that block as you go. That's it. Good, two more, both sides. Here's one and here's two and then hold that block to center. You're pressing easily, but gently, gently, but firmly into the block. You're leaning back. You're just gonna lift one foot off the floor. I don't care which one, just lean, right? That knee is pretty bent to keep you supported. The chest is lifted. All right, so let's do that again, side to side. That's it. And breathe. This is five and six. We're going to 10. This is eight, nine, and 10. Good, lower that foot to the floor. Hold on, lean back again, find it. No pain in the low back. Lift the other leg, squeeze your belly and swing side to side. That's it. You don't have to go this fast, by the way. You can go much slower. Last set right here. Anybody not feeling their belly? Lower it down, we're almost done. Good, choices, both feet on the floor, one and one, you know, just switch off or both feet off the floor. I like to cross my ankles, it helps support this pose. So I'm pressing, I'm crossing my ankles, I'm pushing against those ankles. I got my trusty little block and we're gonna do 10 more. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, Whoo! and let go, holy moly, nice job, set your block aside, and let's come right to table pose, so you know in table pose, if you want a blanket underneath your knees, go ahead and take a moment to do that, otherwise you're going to plant your hands, spread your fingers, Knees are under hips, same thing as always. Tone in through the lower belly so that you're not drop, dropping into your lower back and press your right leg back. <sighs> tone in, tone in, tone in. Lift your right leg, hang in there, reach your left arm. Basic balancing table, we do this often. We should do it often, right? <sighs> you're bored, you're home, you're watching TV. Go on down there and do some balancing table. <laughs> <laughs> and then anybody else in the house will wonder what in the world you're doing. Breathe. Good. Release your left hand. Release your right knee. Switch sides. Left leg. Lift it up. Level out your hips. Tone that belly. Reach the right arm. That's it. So, you know, oftentimes, right, we tap into that summer energy. We are officially in summer. <sighs> Tapping into this energy. Breathe, release. Last one, last side. Press the right leg back, lift it up, squeeze in through the belly, reach your left hand. Optionally, elbow to knee, squeeze it in, <sighs> press it out. Squeeze in, go slow, reach out. Good core work, good balance work here. Squeeze in, reach it out, last one. Squeeze and reach. Let go of the hand, let go of the knee. Good, let's do the other side. We might as well get it done, right? <laughs> Squeeze in the belly, lift the leg, reach the right arm. Always one side trickier than the other. Let's go for five. Here we go. Squeeze it in, out, two, three, 
and four. Last one, five, and out, and let go. Woo. And press back, maybe a little child's pose or hero pose or puppy stretch, just something to stretch out. Good. All right, you're back to table pose. Just simply step forward with your right leg. And once you've done that, grab your blocks. Your blocks are under your hands. If you don't have blocks, don't worry about it. It's not that important. But you're just resting your hands on your blocks. It can be at any height, any level. Again, uh, for now, it's not about the upper body. I'm not so concerned about where that is. It's about stretching that back leg. Feel the front of your left hip stretch. Nice little tone to the belly again so you don't over dump. Use your breath. One, you're here, just giving it a nice long stretch. Two, lift the toes under, lift the knee, but just hold the pose, right? Still stretching through that front leg. <sighs> Breathe. And then whether your knee is up or down, doesn't matter, your left hand is gonna stay on your block your right arm is going to reach up. Just breathe, everybody. And then take the right arm forward, circle it down, reach it back up. Two more right here. Just nice big circle. And last one. Good. Bring your hand back down to your block. Lower your left knee if it's lifted and switch sides. So your right knee is down to start, right? Your good alignment, front knee, front ankle lined up. Your chest isn't dumping too far to the floor. You're just breathing. So we were in the car for 10 hours. And what happens when you sit for that long, right? These psoas muscles get super, super tight. So. Even if you're sitting for some reason or another for a lengthy period of time, you want to get up and give them a good stretch. All right, so flip your toes, lift your knee, again, optional. And we know, right, if you're lifted into a high lunge like this, scissor those legs toward each other and make sure your legs are wide enough so that you're not walking a tightrope. Your right hand stays on your block, your left arm goes up. Nice big stretch, keeping that back leg strong. And let's circle three times. Breathe. Go slow here with the circle. I like warming up these shoulders. I like to lubricate the joints there. So whew, good. And release it, lower your right knee. Bring your left leg back, walk both of your blocks forward and do a nice high puppy stretch. So chest isn't touching the floor, your hands are on your blocks. Just stretch, stretch, stretch. And release that stretch. Step forward with your right leg. Lift your left knee. You can use your blocks here to help you, right? Maybe move the blocks a little bit forward. Push off your back leg to step forward. Bend your knees and inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale your hands to your heart and roll out your shoulders. Good, and then just grab one block just briefly here. Take that block between your legs. Maybe you go long to get all that feedback all the way down through the inner thighs again. Give a good squeeze to the inner thighs. I love this one. I don't know why. It's just like, I don't know. Something about lining up those that pelvis, right? Those thighs. It just like releases everything, especially in the back. And then maybe inhale, maybe reach the arms up. Breathe, squeeze the block. Exhale, forward fold all the way down to the floor if you're comfortable. And if not, release your block or put another block under your hands. And just stretch it out. Again, feel the squeeze of your block. Notice your pose, right? Nice long spine. 
and then bend your knees. Take both hands to your knees. Lift your chest away from the floor. Come halfway up. Lengthen your tailbone and then come to chair pose. Now we're starting to warm up the legs, right? Now we're starting to fire things up a little bit more. Find your breath, stand all the way up and exhale. Good, release your block everybody. Have both blocks toward the front of your mat. And then from the front of your mat, a little bit of flow here. You know who you are, take your time. Don't, don't worry about keeping up or anything like that. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale all the way down to the floor. Soften both knees and step back, right leg. Widen your stance so that your legs are at least hips width apart. Lower your right knee to the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up. Oh yeah, good deep breath, everybody. Exhale, hands come to the floor. Lift your knee. Step back, downward facing dog. Stretch it out. You got this. Maybe pedal the feet, right? Make sure the shoulders have lots of integrity here. Press through the hands and the, uh, the thumb and index fingers. Inhale to your tippy toes, come to plank. Squeeze the imaginary beach ball. You all know what I mean by that. Woo, breathe unless you're new. And that means you draw those inner elbows toward each other. Find your breath. Good, come back to downward facing dog. Step forward, right leg. Lower your left knee to the floor. Inhale, reach up. Oh yeah, nice big stretch, everybody. Exhale, your hands to the floor. Lift your left knee off the floor and push forward to step forward. Bend both knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more like this. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it down. Soften both knees, step back left leg. Good, lower that knee to the floor. Inhale, take the arms up. Good, just gonna add a side twist to this. So when you're ready, the hands come down. Either your left knee stays down or lifts up. Take the right arm up. Breathe, feel that side body again. Feel that nice opening with your chest. Exhale that hand to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out the feet. Come right to plank, core work. Remember in plank, we can always take knees down, right? Breathe. Hold, squeeze that little beach ball. You got this. And then downward facing dog. Again, using your breath, look through the hand, step forward, left leg. Your uh, right knee is, yeah, go ahead and take the right knee down, but then inhale, reach up. Good, exhale down. Hands either on block or on the floor. Lift your knee optionally and take the left arm up. Use your breath. Exhale that hand to the floor. Push off your back foot, step forward. Find your breath here, nice forward fold. Really feel those hamstrings. You can always put hands to blocks. You can always come halfway up, right? You know who you are. <laughs> Use your breath. And then press through your feet, come all the way up. Ooh. And exhale and shake it all out. There you go. All right, so I don't think you're gonna need your blocks, but you can keep them toward the front of your mat just in case. So start at the front of your mat and step back with your right leg. So again, in um, uh, Friday's park class, we were playing with a little bit of flow. We're gonna work on the elements of that flow. And the first part of that flow is warrior two, right? Basic pose, we do this all the time in class. Front heel to back heel or back arch. Front knee to front ankle lined up beautifully. Belly is toned in, tailbone is down. Check your front knee, right? No rolling in, no rolling into that knee. 
So imagine there's a little wall on the outside of this knee and it, the knee is just pressing into the wall, very, very softly pressing in to keep this inner thigh active and then take the arms out, <sighs> right? So one of the challenges here is to not kind of dump the pelvis forward, but to keep it pretty much straight up and down and then keep the torso on top of the pelvis. So we're not leaning forward, not leaning back, just a nice sweet warrior too. Your gaze over the front fingers, ideally. Watch the front knee. And then take your back hand down your thigh and reach the top arm up overhead. And breathe. Now, a lot of folks here look up at their hand on this pose, right? Reverse warrior. I like to look down. The challenge with looking up is you can really throw that neck out of alignment. So we look down, we keep everything toward the center of the body. And then as you exhale, take your front forearm to your thigh, right? Here we are, extended side war or extended side angle, and take the right arm up over him. There's a few of those components right there. Good, push up, push off. Warrior two, here's where it gets tricky. You're gonna take your back arm forward and pivot off your back leg. So pivot your back foot forward, reach both hands forward, your palms are face down, the legs are squeezing towards each other. Inhale, reach up, exhale, hands to the floor. Good, either just step back down dog, I think that'll be easier. Shake it all out. Good, and then step forward with your right leg. I'm just gonna turn my little self around so that I'm not face back behind you that much. So here we are in a lunge. Turn your back foot to the side position. Line up your front heel to your back heel. Take your right hand to your thigh, push on up. Here we are, warrior to this side. And take a moment to just look, right? Check your alignment. If you were in class with me Friday, we worked on this quite a bit. So you wanna take the time to uh, make sure your poses feel good in your body, especially this front knee. I saw a lot of that rolling in. So we wanna make sure that knee stays lined up, hip, knee, and foot and then just kind of sink into your dog into your warrior right back glute active legs active take the back hand reach it back reach the top arm up consider either looking up or down or neither especially balance right you want the head more neutral big deep breath and then slide through warrior two Bring your hand or your forearm to your thigh and consider extended side angle. Extended side angle can be anywhere from here to your fingers to the floor. I like this version a lot. It's very accessible. Big deep breath. Good, come on up, warrior two, listen up. You're gonna turn all your toes forward and come into a forward fold. So far, so good, right? We're gonna repeat that <laughs> a bunch. So just breathe, take the time. That's it. All right, so I want you to press into your hands and come halfway up, more so so you can just see your feet. Turn your toes out a little bit. I don't know if that's maybe 45 degrees-ish, but just turn them out a little bit. And then bend your knees, take your hands to your knees and come on up, straighten the legs. Just so you get your good alignment, your heels are lined up, your toes are pointing out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, goddess pose. Whew. Good, here's where we have a little bit of breath work. So goddess pose, just make sure you're sitting back enough that your knees aren't really pressing forward and in. So remember what we did. So press that energy out, push out, reach it out to the side. Inhale, reach up, exhale down to your heart. Good, so push it out, reach it out to the sides. Inhale it up, 
and bring it to your heart. Good, we got one more here. You're still in goddess, by the way. Press out, reach out, turn the palms up. And then exhale to your heart, hold right here. Straighten the legs. Your right leg is gonna turn in so that it is parallel with the short edge of your mat. Your left leg's gonna turn out. So it's pointing straight forward and then bend your front knee. So here we are, warrior two stance. Take the arms out. Press through those legs, everybody. Breathe. Take the arm back. Exalted warrior or reverse warrior. Different teachers call it different things. Good. Release. Slide on through. Extended side angle. Yeah. Watch that front knee. It's like I can see you even if I can't. <laughs> Breathe. Here's that weird pivot thing. So we're coming up to warrior two. We're gonna reach the back arm forward. We're gonna pivot, be careful here. You gotta be wide enough to do that. And then inhale the arms up. Good, exhale, hands down. Walk yourself back to center so that you're in a wide leg forward fold. Turn your toes out. Bend your knees, hands to knees, and come on up to standing, straight legs. All right, so we did one side, we're gonna do the other side. I know this can be a little tricky, but hang in there, it's gonna start to make sense for you. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, goddess pose. <sighs> Squeezing it in, right? Finding that nice solid pose, solid legs, all of that stuff happening and then press that energy out, reach it out to the side, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale them to your heart. Two more here, push out, reach it around, gather it up, exhale to your heart. Here we go, last one, push out, reach to your sides, turn the palms up, reach up, hands come to your sides, Woo! feel those legs, straighten them up, all right, so we're doing the other side. Your left foot turns in, so it's parallel with the short edge of your mat. Your right leg turns out. Here is a place where you could go a little wider on your mat if you feel like you're narrow, right? Bend your front knee, warrior two. Just sink into your pose. Remember, you can go shorter. You don't have to go so deep. Catch your breath. Back arm to back thigh, reach the top arm up. Oh yeah, feel that beautiful, right? That exalted warrior, this like celebration of our bodies here. And release through warrior two, front arm to front thigh. Reach that back arm over your ear. Keep the pelvis back, that front pelvis back and keep that front knee lining up. Oh yeah, feeling good. All right, warrior two. Whew. Here we go with that pivot thing. Bring the back arm forward. You'll feel the hip starting to turn and then turn your back foot. Squeeze those legs, reach the arms up. That's it, you got this everybody. Whew. Release hands to the floor. Turn yourself back to the center of your mat. Bend your knees and come on up to standing. Whew. Good, and then just step the legs together. We're not quite done with that, but I wanna give you all a little, little break, right? Good, just stretch it out. Right, it don't, you almost feel like you wanna go like knock kneed here after all of that wide leg stuff. All right, so come on out wide. Here we are again, T toes are turned out. So in goddess pose, it's much easier on the knees if the toes are pointed out as opposed to forward. So that's why we do that, just in case you wanna know. Inhale, take it up. Exhale your hands to your heart. <sighs> Inhale, push out. Reach it behind, gather it up, take it up. <sighs> Two more, down to your heart. Yeah, push it out. <sighs> Reach it out to the side, turn it up. Exhale to your heart. Last one, push out. Reach it out to the side. Turn those palms up. Oh, 
and bring it to your heart. Here we are. Take the legs up straight. Turn your right foot parallel with the short edge of your mat. Turn your left foot straight forward. Bend your front knee. Now I did not cue your block here. I should have block to the outside of your left ankle. Okay, so if you've got it, if it's close, go ahead and grab it. You're back in warrior two. We're just adding on here. Back arm, back thigh, pick it up, exalted warrior. Oh yeah, just breathe. Feel that big belly stretch. Exhale, side angle pose. Breathe, oh yeah, this is sweet, sweet. Notice, notice. Good, listen up, come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. When you straighten your front leg, make sure that front leg is active. Don't hyperextend the front knee. Press into the ball mound of your front foot. Lean forward slightly, but take your hand to your leg and slide down the leg some amount. Notice I didn't say how far. For now, triangle pose, fully supported by hanging on to that shin, right? So that you don't just lose the pose. Feel both legs, top arm reaches up. Shoulder, bottom shoulder reaches back. One, you're here. Two, you're gonna take your hand to your block. You can take the block up at its highest level. It's outside of your ankle. You can take it down a little bit lower. Here's how you know, right? If you are hanging in this pose, hanging meaning you don't feel really good here, you're just hoping it'll be over soon, you're too low, you're too, too low. All right, so transition, bend your front leg. Inhale, reach up. Good, exhale, turn all those toes forward and exhale down. I didn't do the lunge part, but I guess I'll spare you all that one. And while you're down here in your forward fold, just grab your block from one end and turn it over to the other end. Turn your toes out, come on up to standing. <sighs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, goddess pose. <sighs> Push it out in front of you. <sighs> reach it out, reach it up. Good, two more down. <sighs> Push it out. <sighs> reach it to your side body and reach it up. Work those legs, down you go. Push out everybody. Open it up wide <sighs> and reach up. Hands to your heart. Straighten the legs. Your left foot turns in, your right foot turns out. Here we are. Notice that all of these poses have the same stance. Bend, bend your front leg. Take the arms out, warrior two. This should feel like nothing at this point, right? You're solid in your warrior pose. Remember, here's not a bad spot to widen the pose if you want to, right? If it feels like you could use a little bit more base support. Back arm goes down, top arm goes up, exalted warrior. And breathe. <sighs> Exhale, forearm to thigh, extended side angle. That's it, feel your pose, tone that low belly. Don't push this front hip, by the way. This, it's the back hip, but the front bone. Don't push it too far forward. <sighs> Big deep breath. Good, come on up, warrior two. Straighten your front leg, triangle pose. Reach that front arm forward, lower it down to your shin on purpose. Find the pose, maybe the arm comes up. If you feel good there, stay there. If you feel like you wanna go a little deeper, the hand goes to your block or the block lowers down, breathe. All that inner thigh work, right? Hamstring work, all that stuff happening. That's it, big deep breath. <sighs> Bend your front knee, by the way, that's extended side angle. And take it up, warrior two. Take the arms up, transition, turn your toes. Exhale, forward fold. You're down low, so you can grab your block. Just place it in front of you. Heel toe your feet in so that they're roughly hips width apart. Grab your block, place it right between your lovely thighs. 
squeeze that block, bend your knees, hands to knees, and come on up. So all that wide leg stuff, let's squeeze it all back in. Simple, simple, right? Squeeze it in, resets everything, gets the, the pelvis lined up with the thighs, with the knees, with the feet. It's all connected. It's all connected. We know that. Ah. Good, good, good. All right. So shake that, shake those legs out. We got one more here. Um, might be easy just to have like one block at one end of your mat and one block at the other end of your mat. So what we're adding to this, we're going to do all of those one more time. I told you we were going to do them a bunch. We're going to add in half moon or at least the attempt to half moon. So if you are near a wall or want to be near a wall, you can do this whole flow right next to the wall, which is awesome. So your block is to the front of your mat. You're going to go wide one more time on this side and then one more time on the other side. Turn your toes out. Here we go. Inhale up. You already know what's coming. Exhale, goddess pose. Push that energy out. Reach it out to the side. Turn your palms up and take it up. Good. Exhale to your heart. Push it out. Reach it out to the side. Turn the palms up. Reach up. And back to your heart. Last one. Push out. Reach it out to the sides. Turn the palms up. Reach up. Exhale right to your heart. Stand those legs straight. Turn your right foot in. Turn your left foot out. Do the hokey pokey. Right. Bend your front knee. Warrior two. Nice tone to the belly. It's almost like you're lifting that pelvis up a little bit, zipping up those tight pair of jeans, right? Take the back arm down, take the top arm up. Nice, easy, open, exalted warrior. Good, reverse that, right? Thigh, take your forearm to your thigh, come to extended side angle. Breathe. Press back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Slide that hand down or to your block. Triangle pose. And breathe. One, you can stay here and come on out. Two, here's our next and final step. Take your back hand to your back hip. Just hold it there. Look down at your hand, your block. Shorten your pose a little bit. So you got your hand in your block. You're going to reach that hand forward. You're going to start to weight the front leg and lift your back leg. You can keep your hand on your hip as long as you want. As soon as you move that hand off, you're going to throw that balance a little bit. So fire up your long leg, right? Breathe. They're looking down at the floor. It's more stable. When and if you're ready, whew, Maybe you start to turn the head, turn the arm, Whew. breathe. Take that hand back to your hip, bend your front knee, step back down, walk your block back. Inhale up, Whew. straight in your front leg, turn all your toes forward, come into a forward fold. Holy moly. So I love that little flow. Bend your knees and come on up. Just keep the legs straight. <sighs> love that little flow because the hips are the same. The legs are pretty much the same, right? So you get that sense of how those poses can flow together all with that same alignment. So you work on the alignment the entire time you're working on it. You work on it the entire time you're working on it. <laughs> all right. Your left foot turns in, your right foot turns out. Your block is where you can get to it. <laughs> Outside your right ankle. Make sure your right knee doesn't roll into the middle. Last set one. Here we go. Arms out, warrior two. Soften in. <sighs> Some of you are probably getting pretty tired by now. It's a lot of leg work. We're almost done. <sighs> All right, back hand down. Top arm up, breathe, stretch it out. Just feel this nice, sweet little pose. 
and reverse that. Take your forearm to your thigh, extended side angle. Just breathe. This should feel like old hat by now, right? You already know this, you know it well. Big deep breath. Come back up to warrior two. Straighten your front leg. Reach forward a little bit. Take the hand down either to your shin or to your block, right? Um, on this side, for some reason, I was a little bit long in my pose. So I just shortened it up a little bit and take your top arm up. Just feel your triangle pose. Remember to watch the knee, that front knee, don't hyperextend and really press into your big toe mound. That's it. All right, from here, final one. Take your back hand to your back hip. Bend your front knee, and right away I look down at the floor. I'm gonna shorten my pose a little bit. I'm gonna reach my block forward. I'm gonna lean into my standing leg and see if my back leg will lift. If it doesn't, don't worry about it, right? Silly thing to worry about. <sighs> Opening up the ribs, the shoulders, press through your standing leg. Maybe you lift the top arm, maybe not. <sighs> Breathe, squeeze. Hand comes back to hip. Bend your front knee, step back down. Come on up, oh, and release. Come on down, forward fold. I know that was a whole bunch. Woo, big deep breath, everybody. And from this wide leg forward fold, I want you to just walk your hands back over to your left foot. So you're back in a lunge. Step back to downward facing dog, hold here. Stretch out everything we just did. Oh yeah. Big deep breath. And then lower down to your knees and find a child's pose. Ooh. Doesn't that child's pose feel so good after all of that work? Just shake it out. And if you're not in child's pose, be in some pose that feels good in your body, feels comforting and relaxing. All right, let's release out of that. And since we're in this position, let's come onto our bellies just for a moment here. Let's throw a back bend into our pose or our class, All right? We can't forget about the back body. So start in Sphinx pose, everyone. You're on your elbows, elbows under shoulders, your hands straight out from those elbows and just feel Feel your body. And now if you're feeling your lower back here, right? Would be understandable all that, uh, all that work that we just did. Just take the elbows forward a little bit, right? And lessen the curve of your spine, but also tone in through the belly and feel the outer hips engage a little bit. That's gonna help a bit. Just breathe. Good, and then lower all the way down so that your head rests on your forearm or your hands, your head rests on your hands or forward. Lift your left leg only. Keep the knee as straight as possible. And release that down. Good, lift your right leg. Hold. And release that down. Good, let both arms come back behind you. Palms are face up. Draw the shoulders away from the floor. <clears throat> and imagine someone has your fingers and they're just pulling your fingers down your mat a little bit. And as they do, your chest rises up more. Maybe you lift the legs as well, maybe not. And once you're here sliding those fingers down the side of your mat, maybe you lift the hands off the mat. And breathe, locust pose. That's it. Couple good deep breaths, everybody, if you can. 
That's it. Oh, yeah. And lower down, lower down, lower down. Shake out your hips. Have a strap next to you if you have one, but don't worry about it if you don't. If you have to get off your mat to get it, don't, don't worry about it. We don't need it that bad. From here, roll over to one side. And then roll onto your back with your knees bent, right? Never like to go right into a straight leg after we've done all of that work. I wanna get the back muscles to settle down a little bit. <sighs> Bring your left knee to your chest. <sighs> you can use your strap around your left foot or not, okay? Up to you. If you don't wanna use your strap, just take your hands behind your left thigh and take your legs straight up to the ceiling. Go ahead and point and flex your foot. That's it. And then circle that ankle. And then draw the left knee to your chest. Reach the arm inside your leg to the outside of your foot, or you have your strap. So you grab your strap around your foot and hold on to it um, kind of from the inside. So this is half happy baby. We just work the heck out of these hips. Just stretch them out a little bit. Uh, one, stay here. Two, straighten your right leg. There you go. And breathe. So strap, no strap, you, it's up to you. If even with the strap, this is really tricky, then just take the arm, the left arm to the outside of your left thigh and then around behind the knee. Again, a really sweet option um, for playing with happy baby. Just breathe everyone. And then bend your right leg if it is straight. <clears throat> Release your left leg and straighten it to the floor. Just stretch it out nice and long. There you go. Bend that knee, take that foot to the floor, draw your right knee to your chest, your hands go behind your thigh, or you have your strap, and just take that leg straight up to the ceiling. Go ahead and point, flex. That's it. Maybe circle that ankle a few times in both directions. Always good. Get those joints all lubricated there. Good, and then bend the knee toward the outside of your chest. Your arm reaches to the inside and then to the outer foot. Again, other options, you can grab your big toe, right? There's lots and lots of ways to play with Happy Baby. You can wrap that strap around your foot and hold it, or you can just wrap your arm around the outside to the inside and uh, hold your leg that way. So one, you're here, two, you straighten the leg. You just breathe, half happy baby. Are you happy? Can you tap in there just for a moment? Even if you're just happy, we're all done with that flow. <laughs> That, that'd be a happy spot. Breathe. There you go. Bend your left leg. Release your right leg. Straighten it down to the floor. Just let it be straight for a moment. Bring both knees to chest. Happy baby, both sides. If you can, the arms go in and then to the outer feet or to your big toes. Your other option here, don't strain, is just to take, wrap those arms around the outsides of your legs as if you were gonna give your legs a big hug. This is a really nice option that doesn't require you to reach those arms at all. Good, and then just maybe rock a little side to side. If you're happy and you know it, Tap your feet, <laughs> just breathe. Every time I do Happy Baby, I think of that song. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe my mom sang it to me. 
or us, you know, maybe we all got that song when we were babies holding on to our feet. Whew. All right, bring yourself to center. If you have been rocking side to side, you're gonna bring the legs together, hold on to the backs of those legs, straighten them both up to the ceiling and then take them both wide. So good support here, right? Let's scoot away from the wall a little bit. So we did this sitting on the floor. We're gonna end by doing this laying down. The legs are out to the sides. You can either hold the inside legs or the outside legs for your support here. Your back is neutral, right? We're not arching, we're not tucking, we're not anything. We're just playing here with a nice neutral spine, stretching out those legs. We've worked our little butts off. And then take the legs together, bend your knees, twist those knees to the left. <sighs> Remember the back of the neck is long, Stretching out the spine after all that. Feel your breath. Good. Take your top knee up. Take your bottom knee up and then let both knees go over to the right. Just feel your breath. Feel how you're starting to settle back down. Good, take your top knee up. Follow it with your bottom knee. Let both feet come back to neutral. Draw both knees to your chest and then straighten one leg to the corner of your mat. Straighten the other leg to the corner of your mat and let's find Shavasana. If you feel your low back at all, just bend the knees. Keep your feet on the floor. But otherwise, start to let your whole body settle down, down to the earth. Jaw soft. Your belly is so soft. And you feel the soft flow of breath moving in through your nose. And back out again. Feel yourself going deeper. Let go of any thoughts that are holding your attention.
See if you can go down even deeper into your pose. One more big let go here before we rouse ourselves back. And then those of you who would like to stay a little bit longer to stay. Those of you ready to start moving again, wiggle your toes and your fingers. Ever so slowly bend your knees, and draw your knees to your chest. Rocking side to side, just stretching through that whole back body and slowly lowering your knees to one side or the other. Pausing there in fetal pose. And then ever so slowly coming all the way back up to your seated pose. <laughs> 